Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I have a mystery box from uh, that you can per currently find on eBay. Um, a gentleman by the name of Scott reached out to me uh, via email, seeing if I was willing to feature one of his mystery boxes on his channel. Um, you know, we sent back a couple of emails back and forth, and uh, here we are. So here we are doing an opening. I believe he has three different versions of this. This is the uh, regular HB. Um, or he has the, I'm sorry, he has the regular HB, which goes for about 65 plus shipping. Um, we have the HBX, uh, which is this current version, which retails about 135. And then he has an HBXL um, that goes for about 165, you know, plus shipping as well. Um, so he gave me the one that's in the middle of the road. Uh, he sent me a couple of questions regarding, you know, my favorite teams, players, and such. Um, so he did say that there, this one may be a little Mets heavy. Um, but I know, at least with me, he tried getting some information. So I don't know if he'd work the same, you know, with you guys as well. But um, so in case you guys see this, it's very heavily Mets. That is why I haven't opened it up at all yet. Um, but I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the list. Um, I have a printout here, but I, I kind of want to see if he had a, uh, list, um, printed out in here, which might be easier to show off, uh, than the, uh, you know, the list that I have from the emails. So let's just get this thing opened, see what's all in it. Try to keep everything on camera. I mean, as you can see, it is nicely packed. We'll slide right out. Sorry if I bumped the camera. Get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, nicely wrapped, nicely protected. Got his HXB. That out of the way, and let's see what's all inside here. I mean, like I said, I mean, the things the box is big, so you're definitely getting a lot of stuff. I know he's got some pre made packs, and then I, I'm assuming he'll he will uh, uh, try to create also, too, based off of say, if you know you're a Yankee fan or if you're a you know, Guardians fan or whatever the case may be. Um, so, here we have a team photo, which is one of the things that he does. Uh, uh, put in the description 1986 uh, New York Mets team photo obviously the year they won the World Series which is pretty neat um, he does throw a Beckett random Me Beckett monthly uh, this one's from February of 1994 then we have some old uh, baseball card wrappers that he puts in there we got 83 Donruss 82 tops 81 Donruss and like I said there's like all different like kind of goodies uh, that comes in here um, we got an oversized <laughs> Bill Buckner card kind of funny just you know being a uh, you know him uh, kind of winning us the World Series in a way or at least game six of it we still had to win game seven as the Mets uh, official all-star uh, our official ballot for the all-star game for 2004 I mean, some people do like collecting this stuff. Uh, these are the ones where you actually would mail in instead of doing everything online like you do nowadays. A um, little oversized uh, Cal Ripken card. Not too bad. Player I always liked as well. And then uh, you got some tickets. Uh, 94 schedule. Man, Mr. Met looked uh, a little rough back in 94. Um, and then some tickets uh, from, you know, previous games, obviously. Uh, Rangers and Mets. Um... June 7th, and then our National League Championships with Grom, so City Field ticket, pretty cool. Uh, we got a Funko Pop, a random Funko Pop, Vladdy, all right, that's cool. Vladdy is a player that I like. We have a hit tape to the back of this. I mean, he does package this stuff pretty nicely overall, too. Um, the only thing I would say, too, if you could, uh, you know, as my, um, and then, I mean, there's tons and tons of packs here of all different random stuff. Um, I would maybe print out a rundown for anybody that does get these. So let me get the box out of the way. 
So, I mean, there's all different, like, mystery packs within this box, too. Um, let me just kind of organize this really quickly. Just bear with me for one second. The hit. We'll save that for last, just curiosity. Um, but there's all different packs. Like I said, there's, like, I think, like, 22 of them. I think there should be, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 17 actually, uh, 18. Um, so, oops, sorry guys, I bumped the camera. But there's all these like little X packs. They're all themed for the most part. Um, so serial number card inside would be in this one. Um, you struck gold, which is another um, kind of brand of mystery pack that he puts inside of this. Uh, some of them not being labeled. You know, serial number card inside. You just found a 1986 Topps Hot Pack. Um, you know, all different kind of stuff in here. So, like I said, definitely check out his link and let's uh, let's start opening these up. See what's inside. Uh, like I said, you know, some of it is Mets heavy. So, um, not too sure about these particular packs if they're going to be as heavy. And I think it will be easier if. I just cut the bottom of these packs and trying to slide it out the top and pull off the uh, the top. So, so all right, let me just move these out of the way. So, like I said, a lot of stuff. Pre appreciate you guys hanging out, watching this video too. Um, if the video does take a little longer, but um, so I mean, he, everything's packaged very nice, definitely. So, but. Do get a nice King Griffey Jr. 1990 Upper Tech. Not bad there. Uh, we got Luis Robert, Gonzalez, Future Foundations, Francisco Lariana, Max Fried, Bowman Chrome, Ryan Weathers, Mike Piazza, Yastrzemski, and the rookies, Jeff Bagwell. Okay, not too bad there. Uh, let's open up this uh, one that's not has does not have anything written on it. Keith Hernandez, Conseco, Bichette, Biggio, Duran Duran from this year, uh, Jim Tomey, Mark McGuire, Barry Larkin, 87, I believe, I believe that's his rookie card for Donruss. I, my Donruss knowledge is not the best. And we got Kellogg's 3D Superstars, Gard, uh, Philip Gardner, not a name that I'm personally remembering. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's open up one of these serial card or serial numbered cards inside. So yeah, definitely, guys. Let me know in the comments too as I'm opening this up. You know, let me know what your thoughts are on this product. Um, good idea, bad idea. Um, are you interested in it? You know, any you know feedback that you have. Um, you know, that would also help, um, you know, Scott as well with putting these together. Uh, we got draft picks, Josh Hamilton, Pujols, Ichiro, Chisholm, rookie debut, Kmart, Pete Rose, Mike Trout, uh, lasting millage, rookie card, Carlton Fisk, all-star card from 81. Pretty cool. And then we also have a Dale Murphy. Yeah, a lot of tape, but the plus side is though it's you know it's for protection purposes, keeps everything in intact, which I'm I'm not gonna complain about, especially if I'm peeling off painter's tape for things. Um, you know, if he was using scotch tape, I would uh, um, that would you know annoy me, but the fact that he's using painter's tape and it comes off very nicely. Um, that that's perfectly fine. I don't mind taking the time peeling off the uh, you know regular painter's tape. So let's see. All right, Cal Ripken there in the front. Henderson behind that. So I'm a big fan. You know, as long as they pack it up, I don't mind taking the time to unpack it. If you know what I mean. So this is the '84 Tops Hot Pack. Harold Baines, 
Winfields. We got NL Active Career Hits Leader. Verlander, uh, re like kind of like a Redux. Jim Rice. Daryl Strawberry Mojo. George Brett. Ricky Henderson. Very nice. And Cal Ripken also too on the top there. Uh, let's see what this, is. this one that is not labeled. But yeah, like I said, I mean, he does all these different little themes for these little mystery packs. Um, so, I mean, it could be fun if it's something you're into. I know some people don't like these things at all. Some people find these fun. Um, I, I'm i usually, you know, kind of... I usually try this stuff out usually once in a while. I don't really buy usually mystery packs like this too frequently. But um, this one's been, so far, pretty decent in my opinion. We got Robert Ventura. Um, that's actually a pretty cool card. It's, um, it's raised, and then it is a little bit of the uh, the see through. We got uh, Big Sexy, rookie card. Um, Mattingly, Mookie Wilson, Seth Beer, rookie. Mark Grace, Darren Jackson, prospect card. We got Jeter. Rawlings Gold Glove Award, and Conseco Highlights. And Living Legends was on the front of that. Gaylord Perry, Gaylord Perry and Raleigh Fingers. Uh, let's open up another one of these serial number cards. Aaron Ryan Leaders, Rudy May, and Don Sutton. We got Tulu, Tulu Whiskey, Rookie Cup, Andre Dawson, Paul Monitor, Mount Castle Rookie, uh, Ovation, Guerrero, Chris Davis, Gallery, numbered in 99, Jose Reyes, Bowman Chrome, and Bo Jackson, all, um, Rookie Card from 87. Uh, let's see the U struck gold. Let's see how that is. Got national pastime, Tom Seaver. Got Vladdy Senior Bowman. Pretty cool. Gary Carter, gold card from when he was with the Expos, 93 design. Cliff Floyd, Dave Winfield, Record Breakers Gold. This was, this was always one of my favorite cards for some reason growing up too, these um, Studio Gold that literally look like a credit card. I don't know why, but I, I don't know. I always got a kick out of these for some reason. Um, I'm trying to remember what year this was. I can't quite see it with the stamp on it. Um, but I don't know, for some reason, I always got a kick out of the way those looked. Uh, Leaf, Ryan Klesko, Jim Tome, Tops Gold Leaf, and Griffey, SP Authentic. And a Seaver there. What else do we got here? All Rookie Hot Pack. Uh, thank you. That's kind of like a Met Pack, a Mystery Pack. Let's save that to the end. Let's do the serial card one, a serial numbered card, excuse me. Gossage on the front there. Then we got Dontrell Wills, uh, Sandy Alomar Jr., Manny Ramirez, Future Star, Barry Bonds, Brandon Marsh, Opening Day Rookie, Alex Rodriguez, Mike Stanton, and George Brett, All Star. Nice. So, for overall, not too bad. Sorry if I'm bumping the camera here. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Found a Twins pack. Okay. That's, an, that's all inserts. Hot pack. Blank one. Blank one. A6 hot. Rookie. Question mark. Mets. Um, all right. Let's do... Let's do these uh, three ones that have nothing written on them. See what's in these. These are probably just some of the mystery packs that he did have already put together. We got 
Eddie Murray. We got Tampa Bay Rays. Tim Salmon, uh, star rookie. Chipper Jones, Alex Manoa, 86 to, uh, Redux. Tony Gwynn, Dwight Gooden Highlights, and Mo from SP. Yeah, 81 Murray, pretty cool. Same thing with Ozzy Smith All Star. Yeah, Frank Viola. Yeah, Prospects Paul Canucco, Derek Lee, Ron White. Wally Joyner, Rookie Cup, Acuna, uh, uh, Andres Jimenez, Rookie Card, uh, Nolan Knows Bo, that's kind of cool, him um, holding a Bo Jackson card, uh, Yadier Molina, and one of the, uh, I, this is a card I'm not personally not familiar with, tops like a uh, playing card, I'll be honest with you. Not 100% sure. Fortunately, it's before my time, so that's where I get a little... Uh, my knowledge isn't the greatest, which I'll be the first to admit. But usually a lot of stuff before my time, I don't usually have the greatest knowledge of years and designs. And all right, this is the final one that was not labeled, but 81 highlights, Nolan Ryan. We got Francisco, or Fernando Venezuela highlights, Clemens. We got Fred Tolliver, Andres Galarraga, Tyler McGill. Top prospects, uh, Chipper Jones, Mike Messina, top prospect, Pete Alonzo, future stars, and Frank Thomas, score, first round pick. So, I mean, definitely a lot of stuff that I would be happy with personally, being fans of certain players, even from that time frame. Like, I, because when I did speak to him, I did tell him about, you know, current players that I do like, um, you know, obviously being a Met fan, um, and then some other players that I do like currently. And there, some of these names that are popping in here are not names that I've told him. Like, I am a big fan of Frank Thomas. I didn't tell him that. Um, you know, same thing with, uh, you know, Cal Ripken or Ozzie Smith. Like, I did like those players a lot growing up. But so, um, you know, I just kind of told him a list of uh, maybe about six players that I currently like, um, as well as, you know, Mets. But um, so, I mean, a lot of this is completely random. But some of it was also to cater to, you know, my favorite teams. So Sammy Sosa, White Sox. We got Kenny Lofton. Bowman, Matt Williams, Andre, uh, Andre Gonzalez, Larry Walker, John Smoltz, yeah, Zimmerman, Turkey Red, and Pudge, and Sabre Hagen behind that, so not too bad there. Uh, I believe that was the all rookie pack, if I remember correctly. Um, let's see. Let's do the Twins pack. Uh, serial number card inside. Clark and Will Clark, but these are parallels. I know one of them should have been serial numbered, but I'm just personally missing it, which is fine. I'll take a look at it later. We got Bowman, Jake Arietta, and then a Chrome. So basically, the Twins pack it's two cards, but two different versions of the card, it seems like. Trey Umbergery and the silver foil and the gold. Tatis, Chrome, Alonzo, Stars of MLB, and then the Chrome version of it. So that's the Twins pack. I actually thought it was a uh, Minnesota Twins pack actually going to opening it up, but clever. Definitely clever. I'll definitely say that. Uh, let's do the all insert hot pack. A 
as this is going to make a mess out of my desk, which is fine. I'm going to have a lot of packs to clean up and stuff like that, but not a big deal. Uh, we got Roberto Alomar on the front there. Yeah, 21st Century Tops, Todd Helton, Matt Harvey, Star Rookies, that look like David Wright, Otani, Free Ducks card, Casey Mize, Rookie of the Year Favorites, Fleer Headliners, Juan Soto Generation Now, and Buster Posey, A Foil, uh, let's see, let's do the Mystery Actually, that's got something in a top loader. So let's, let's, or not, um, as on a one touch, it sounded like, or so let's, uh, let's save that. So this is the 86 hot pack. 86 was one of my favorite designs. Um, I don't know why, but I liked this design a great deal growing up. But we got 86 Cal Ripken. Yeah, Pete Rose card here. Mike Schmidt, Wade Boggs. Then we have a um, Mojo, Robin Yap, Jimenez, Curry Puckett, Dwight Gooden All Star, and Will Clark. Another player I always liked. Um, let's do the thank you pack. This I'm assuming is all Mets cards. I'm gonna say it's safe to say. Yeah, Lenny Dykstra, a rookie card, if I remember correctly, 86 was. Carlos Beltran, Bobby Bonilla, just had Bobby Bonilla day a couple of days ago. Dwight Gooden, we got Patrick Mazika, uh, uh, Ricky Henderson, Greg Jeffries, Ade Hinomo, I actually forgot he played for the Mets briefly toward the end of his career. Top surprise, Mike Piazza, Carlos uh, Gomez, rookie card, Ron Darling, and six four stars, Baez and Lindor. And all right, let's do let's do the one with the question mark, and then we'll save the hit for last. Oh, you know what this you know what this is? I think this is one of the project. He also does feature the project hundred or project seventy. And yeah, project okay, project 2020. Nolan Ryan. Pretty cool. This one I don't have. I have a I have a couple of the project 2020s. I didn't go crazy with them. I did buy a very little of little bit of them, but like I said, it was it did seem like it was in one touch, but um, you know, definitely pretty cool. Um yeah, not too bad there, which is like I said, that's one that I personally don't have. And then this is the hit. Let's see what we get. Yeah, sorry guys too if this, is, if this video is taking a little bit of a long time, but there is a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff to go through. Um, you know, with this mystery pack, there's a lot here. Um, I don't want to miss anything. And there is a lot of good stuff actually in here too. Um, this actually has been a lot of fun opening this up. Um, a, lot of, a lot of decent cards for sure that I'm, I'm very, I'd be very happy with. And then our hit, Heron Ashby. Okay. This is from Topps Archives. Um, is this 21 or 22? I think this was 21. I think this is from 21, if I remember correctly. But Andy Ashby, rookie uh, auto, on card auto from Topps Archives. Um, so overall, not bad. I mean, so for the price which I'm going to try to get everything on camera after it's been opened. These are 30 cards. Um, I think there's like, there's supposed to be like 30 top loaders of cards. So just trying to get everything on camera to kind of give you an idea. I mean, the Funko as well. You know, this one personally was on there. Um, I think the only thing that I'm not having on camera right now is the, uh, the team photo, just cause it is taped in there and I don't want to take that out right now. Um, you know, some of the oversized, 
and right here. So I mean, all this stuff did come for it is a price tag of 135 for this particular box there is a version that is cheaper it does um you know keep some things out but just to kind of give you an idea like this is what i did get for the 135 dollars uh price tag for this um overall i i liked it i i thought it was a really good mystery box um some definitely some decent stuff um like i said mine was definitely mets heavy because i did mention it to him um, you know, cause he asked me favorite team. Cause he even said to it, he would do this over, you know, football or maybe basketball as well. Don't quote me on the basketball, but I think I know football too, but I said, just do strictly baseball. Um, so he can do some, you know, working like that too. So if you do find him on uh, eBay, which like I said, link will be in the strip description below, excuse me. Um, you know, you could probably always work something out with him, and then he can maybe potentially customize it for you a little bit like he did for mine. Um, but he did have over 200 um, people uh, that have bought this or one of the, the tiered versions of it. And uh, nobody's complained yet so far. So uh, like I said, overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um, me personally, I'm usually not uh, – I don't really care about keeping wrappers. I know some people do. Um, so I actually might send this, send these to a friend of mine, um, that I know that does collect wrappers. Um, I mean, other than that though, you know, some of the stuff like the wrappers and, and, and like baseball, um, game stuff, uh, ticket stubs. If I, if I wasn't at the game, I usually don't care about keeping that stuff. But like, for me, like, that's the only thing I would, I don't want to say complain about, but you know, something I personally don't need myself, but, um, definitely the card selection I thought was very good. Um, very pleased with the card selection, a lot of names that, you know, they're, uh, that I was, you know, fans of those players, uh, growing up. And, you know, like I said, I did not put those players in those lists. I just kind of told them Mets. And then I told them a list of five or six, uh, current players, really. Um, actually, no, I might have thrown Griffey Jr. in there. Um, I can't remember honestly off the top of my head, but I know, um, you know, like Frank Thomas, uh, uh, Cal Ripken, you know, a couple of names like that. I did not tell him for sure. So, but overall, not bad. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, this is one of my longer videos. I apologize for it being this long, um, but a lot of information. I did want to give it an honest breakdown of everything, show off everything, um, and then just kind of go from there. So, you know, I apologize for a little bit of a longer video. So hopefully I didn't defer anybody as well. But, um, I, I actually did enjoy this. Uh, I thought this was pretty good. Um, I did definitely enjoy it. So, Scott, thank you again uh, for this. Uh, like I said, eBay description will be posted below. Um, also, you know, if you like the video, uh, please leave a like on it. Please leave any comments also, too, not just for myself, but for Scott as well. Give me your honest feedback on this box. You know, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you... Whatever it was, give, I, I want to hear your honest feedback from it too. So I was also too, it helps Scott as well. Um, you know, with these boxes going forward where maybe he can tweak them a little bit to, um, you know, to see from there too. So, um, so please let me, like, give me definitely your honest opinions in the comments. Um, and uh, if you're brand new to the channel for some reason, you came across this video, um, greatly appreciate if you subscribe, hit that notification bell for any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, thank you, Scott, for sending this to me. Um, hopefully, I was able to show off and, um, you know, go over everything, you know, as well as I could. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to go over, um, you know, a lot of different packs to open and stuff like that. Definitely fun. I enjoyed it for sure. Um, big thank you to you for that as well. And uh, I'm actually, I'm happy with this box. I mean, for this box, this the price tag it was, I... I'd be pretty comfortable with it, honestly. Um, you know, maybe, you know, if I was maybe say anything, maybe just throw maybe a, a sealed pack in of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be like this year or something like that, maybe. Um, but I don't know. Other than that, though, I really can't say I have any complaints really about it. So, um, but anyway, once again, thank you guys. I hope you guys have a great night and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.